Hi, Fred, FR5ED here from Craft Beer Adventures, well, also Silent 5 Brewing. I'm here at Wops Hops Brewing Company in Sanford, Florida, enjoying a flight of four of their beers I picked out. I've been having a wonderful conversation with Greg, who's the founder, owner, uh, brewmaster, everything. In fact, I'm going to be picking up this bottle of, uh, his, that's him, St. Gregorius. Uh, this is a special Belgian uh, that he did that's got uh, orange, I think he said orange peel. It's got, uh, it was in bourbon oak barrels. Um, I forget all the treatment that it's gotten. It's on the label. I won't go into it now. I'll be taking that home, 9.2%. But of this flight, the ones I picked out, I picked out Bokey, B-O-K-E-Y, which is a Rausch beer, R-A-U-C-H-B-I-E-R, which is a German smoked beer. They smoke the malts. And this is amazing. I am not a flavored beer drinker. It's so subtle. It's just the smokiness kind of comes through in the slightly in the aftertaste and the aroma. So it's not over the top. I love that. Plenty of flavor there. Honey oat stout. This one. Red likes it. I love it. <laughs> I love all four of these. If you couldn't tell, that was Greg, the guy on the bottle. Um, this is uh, the honey oat stout. Now, honey does not mean it's going to taste like honey or it's going to be sweet. Honey was used in the boil. It's a fermentable, quite fermentable, 100% fermentable, as a matter of fact, which actually dries it out. That is a very uh, dark chocolate, dark black coffee, which none of those were added, I'm sure. There's no dark chocolate or black. There's nothing in the honey oat stout that's added is there is there is there oh no no just the, it's all the grain that's doing it's that. pure grain that's giving you the dark chocolate and the black coffee it's just amazing so i poured a strength saint gregorio for fred since it's his birthday so happy birthday fred thank you greg <laughs> that's what's in the bottle i told you about that i will be picking up oh my 9.2 percent but it is my birthday today did greg mention that Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The, now, again, I'm not a flavor adder to, to beers. This is amazing. Greg just brought me this. What is it? It's what's in the bottle. Oh. Tell me, this is Mrs. FR5ED. Tell me what you're tasting here, babe. I smell oranges. It's got the orange, the orange zest in there. What is that? Well, it's a blend. It's got the orange. But there's something. Uh, it's got uh, bourbon barrel oak chips, orange peel, cacao nibs from Ghana. That's what it is. You're getting the cacao? And like a chocolatey. Chocolate orange. Yeah. Like one of those. Again, as I said, I am not one to add flavors to beers. I never would have thought of doing that. This is beyond enjoyable. What would that be? Enjoyableissimo? Mm. So, moving on, the Caesar, <laughs> this is Caesar on the bagpipes, Caesar on the bagpipes. This is a Scottish ale, and the one that I'm most familiar with, Scottish ale-wise, is uh, Old Chubb from um, Oscar Blues, which I like. It's not something I reach for because I'm not a you know, Scottish ale fan based on that experience. But I went ahead and wanted to try this because Greg said it's one of his favorites. So let's try it again. That is so smooth. It is, I, I, would, I would brew this. I would get this again. Amazing, amazing. Um, this is the Venetian IPA. Again, I'm not one for adding at this point in my brewing experience. Have not even considered adding adding spices, fruit, uh, any any sort of adjuncts. This is an IPA. It's an American style IPA, and you know I get the the hops and everything in there, but there's something he added, and I can smell it and taste it. I, if somebody said, "Hey Fred, why don't you throw a handful of mint leaves into your beer?" 
I would have said, no, throw it in your tea. I'm not putting that in my beer. It's amazing. It's it, it's enough in the background that it's it doesn't taste like something that's been, uh, you know, conspicuously or inappropriately added. It is definitely complimentary. And who knows, you may find a handful of mint leaves in my in my IPA somewhere down the road. So that's the experience here at at uh, Wops Hops downtown Sanford here. It's a great place. We will be back. This is Fred FR5ED. Over and out.